Hello everyone, this is Vanita Manan Singh. Welcome to my channel, The Rainbow Spotter. I spot rainbows. Okay, uh, before I start today's uh, talk on how to love your body, uh, you know, I start sharing my wisdom and the practices. Let me uh, take you to picture. I want you to picture a dead person, a dead human being. If you see a person who is now dead, their skin and body will stay will stay for some time how they used to look like before. But after some after that time, after a certain amount of time, it starts decaying. You know, the, the skin it starts dissolving and the bones it starts turning to liquid and it it just slowly it vanishes. It gets dissipated. So if you can picture that, and now you see yourself in the mirror. You know how beautiful you are. You, you see the way I say beautiful. Beautiful. That's how you are right now. You're amazingly beautiful. You are a miracle. Right now you're breathing. You're so wonderful right now. So just to know the value of what you are right now, I, I made you picture a dead person, a dead human body. Okay? You have life in you. There's no doubt that you are not beautiful. You are fantastically beautiful. Doubting your beauty is doubting the art of the master who created us. Okay, uh, so let's start first with the hair. Hair. Um, the first thing, stop saying my hair is becoming thin. I'm losing lots of hair. Uh, I don't have good hair. My hair is not good. No, don't say that. Uh, we can we can enhance our hair growth. You can have short hair, big hair, or any kind of hair. But the point is, you need to have healthy hair. You know, you feel that. Oh, my hair is healthy, happy. I'm happy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because I have uh, I have uh, seen friends who had such thick hair, like it was like a Amazon jungle, or <laughs> I don't know which jungle is that, but like it was a thick wood jungle like animal she's used to say animals giraffe lion tiger can live inside it is so it is so um you know thick and heavy she sometimes used to feel that i should that she should go bald she didn't want such hair and i used to i used to envy wow such nice hair she has such thick hair she has she can pull on you know any hairstyle so and then there are other people, they're like, their hair is good, but they will say, my hair is thin, you know, it keeps on falling. I don't have good hair. Please stop saying that. Your hair is just perfect, fitting to your body, going along with your body body design. So, uh, one day, keep, so these are the practices I do. Keep one day as the oiling day for hair and body. Saturday is what I practice as oiling day. I apply parachute oil in my scalp. I do massage for me and my baby. And uh, mustard oil, massage for the body or any oil you prefer. Uh, like since childhood, my nani, daddy, they used to do. That's why my skin is very good. People say my skin is so good and soft. It's because of the massage and the care they gave to me. I, and I, I, I practice that. I still practice that whenever I can. But oiling day is compulsory. You need to oil your roots and your skin, your cells. Okay. Apart from that, uh, start combing your hair when it is dry, not when it is wet after, you know, showering, your, uh, cleaning your hair. And when it is dry, with a thick, there's a gap between the teeth of the comb, that kind of comb, you remove first the tangles, slowly, when you have time, not in a hurry. Slowly remove the tangles down first and then come from the root to down. And practice combing your hair before sleep because it do the, it, stimulates the blood circulation which results in hair growth and um, tie your hair before sleeping not very tight with a rubber band but you know loose but keep a braid you know make a choti of your hair if you want your hair to grow uh, it helps the hair from tangling while you sleep okay so these are for hair outside inside um in maharashtra food culture i have learned that they put they they make powder of the peanut the ground nut dry powder and for every curry almost every curry bindi ki bhujia ya koi bhi curry they'll put one spoon or two spoon of ground nut powder which is which has natural oil good for our hair so you can include that 
and sweet potato is very good for hair uh you can you can eat that whenever the you know season is and protein dal you know the dal 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 you should eat lots of protein you should have and milk paneer whatever you other protein sources so these are for the hair and stop and stress you should not have you should not stress about your hair or body that's the first thing okay and then um yeah that is that and uh, what else can you do for hair is uh don't wash your hair very often use natural uh, ayurvedic shampoo uh, try i use patanjali uh you can you can use i'm not you know i i'm not paid or something for any of it i i just i'm telling you honestly straightforwardly what i use yeah so you can use a, a less chemical shampoo uh, and that too once or max twice in a week don't wash very often your hair yeah and um, yeah that was for the hair uh and uh, next we start with eyes uh thanks to my parents wisdom thanks to my grandparents and to my family uh i haven't got specs thanks a lot for the wisdom we always used to read in bihar we study in the daylight we'll have a house a design and village near yeah, our son okay we'll have you know old kind of indian houses where we'll have a like a rectangular house and in the center it will be open for the sunlight to fall in for tulsi plant will be there all the children all the family members can get, get the sufficient sunlight without going outside in case they are not going so we have been studying in the broad daylight instead of night my father always says that instead of night time study in the morning when the daylight the natural light very good for our eyes that's the first practice please i you know these days in the apartments i've seen small children small kids uh 4 years 5 years they're having thick specs why because they don't have the house is poor design there's no light sufficient light in the house they are watching screen time continuously because the parents have to do job and earn money which is which can be understood but the child is paying the co- you know price of it so uh we can't change the house design that we the sunlight comes we can choose the house but try tell your children and you yourself you are studying you are working where we have a huge window a light is coming inside like here you see lot of sunlight right now so yeah that is good for our eyes try to study try to do anything where your eyes concentration is required in the morning in the broad daylight natural light okay and avoid studying in less light avoid studying while traveling in the motion don't study or read anything for a long good uh, eyesight this is what you can practice and when you're working you know corporate job or any job or studying preparing for exam take a break for 30 seconds at least 30 seconds through you from your window or go to the balcony and look out a very far distance you know a bar building or a mountain or sky birds something very far natural to adjust your eye to the natural light which was actually you know affected by the screen light the blue light of your screen so adjust your eyesight after you know as often as you can for 30 seconds you need to adjust your eyesight to the natural light okay that is one and then comes the uh, nose well you can do yoga this is very important you know breathing uh, yeah so you can do pranayams Uh, I do Bhastika Pranayam, Kapal Bharati, Bahi Pranayam, Ujjayi Pranayam, Anulom Vilom, Brahmari. These are the six ones from Ramdev Baba. I practice that. Uh, not like machine, but regularly try to practice it in the morning. Empty stomach. Uh, yeah. And and be thankful for the cute nose, whatever size, whatever design it has. It does such an important function for your body. Okay. Okay. Then comes lips. Um, and yeah. You know. Uh, I see many actors and actresses and uh, I I felt so not good about it that I heard that I don't know if it's true or not that they have got their surgery you know for changing the lips or enhancing lips or making it uh, I don't know what they do like for the good pout or something they change nose they change their lips to make it more full fuller uh in my opinion you should not do that how attractive and how beautiful your natural nose or natural lips uh look they look is it, it cannot be compared with what you do artificially cutting skin and changing it for what for pictures for some person who there's a chance that the person might change this love for you 
why would you change something natural in you? Don't do that. It just be you. It is more attractive naturally what you have got than doing it. Uh, what what do they say? I forgot the term right now. Artificial or something. I don't know. I just don't. Yeah, the fulfilling of lips. No need. Whatever lips you have got, it's just beautiful. Whatever nose you got, it's it's amazing. It does its function. And don't do for any person. The person might change. His love or her love for you might change. So why would you change your body and suffer so much pain and cost? Okay. Uh, okay, so that. And then comes our ears. Yes. Um, the most important part, do not insert anything pointed in your ears for cleaning. Or when you feel itching or something, do not put anything pointed. No, don't do that. One of my relatives, my family member had done when he was young. He didn't know. Uh, he was not aware of it. And later, uh, they say, I don't know what they say. Curtain of the years. And the pain the person had gone through. I had seen that person going such immense pain. Because it is connected to the brain, you know, the ear. And the pain is unbearable. And then the operation. And... Uh, why would go for such pain and chances of you know spoiling your hearing system for for like permanently why would you go for that so no need for that there i think there are earbuds with cotton on it you can use that but don't go for anything pointed please even i've seen educated people doing that so i want i want everybody to be aware of that okay uh then comes um um yeah your neck neck especially for the women for the thyroid we have this butterfly gland over here thyroid so for that you can do ujjayi pranayam as i listed in the five six pranayams ujjayi pranayam please do that it will regulate the thyroid balance i have done that i had got borderline thyroid imbalance uh, during my pregnancy and i didn't want it because i never had any thyroid problem before but i had because of you know uh, stress depression and a lot of changes going on in my life and my body so that happened I could not balance it. But now I have reversed it back. I know more. I don't eat any more pills. So you can do that. Uh, do Ujjayi Pranayam in the morning. It helps to regulate this gland. You know, thyroid gland. Yeah. And then comes, um, what can I say? Uh, hands. What can we say for the hands? Uh, love your hands. They, they help you do a lot of things for you and for the people you love. And uh, yeah, trim your nails. That's regular, basic. And uh, and for the ladies, uh, you can put nail polish on the left hand, but avoid putting on the right because you know sometimes you feed something to your baby with the right hand, something you know instead of using spoon, you might feed something with the hand. So you might end up putting the nail polish in the food, you know, or maybe you're making something, you're cooking or making tough. The nail polish pieces chemical falls in the food so avoid that or better use uh, gloves but we don't do that in home just wash our hands and we cook so for that only um, you can avoid putting nail polish on the right hand or you know and depending on the hand you use for more work okay then comes um, for the female body comes the chest the breast yeah so uh, there are a lot of important things that which I know and which I want other female birth people to practice. Uh, use uh, cotton, cotton uh, inner clothes for your body, and especially in summer. Bo I mean, you know, uh, one dermatologist once a dermatologist told me that our body loves cotton fabric very much. So especially in summer, use a cotton inner garment and. Uh, Try to have it a white color, especially if you're traveling outside in the sun, not a black color one. You know, just to keep our breast, our body healthy. Why to get, you know, sometimes the harmful rays when you're going outside and you don't remember that this time of the day is not good for me. But you end up walking outside and if you're wearing a black color in a garment, it will, you know, absorb, black absorbs uh, the sunlight and the bad light, which is not good for your body. You might uh, end up absorbing it which can affect your chest your breast so for that uh, you can you can first of all don't go at that time of the day when it is you know mid uh, mid noon don't go out avoid such time and 
uh, uh, wear white color instead of you know white blocks it and black absorbs it then for the mothers feed your baby it's good for you it will protect your uh, breast you it will protect the baby give the give the baby the immune system the baby needs to develop it's very important nothing compares to mom's milk in this whole world we have not invented any such thing so for the baby to be strong all his life her life the baby needs to be fed on mom's milk i have fed my baby like 2 years or 3 i think so you must feed your baby in case you are a mom it is the, the way this is how it is designed you must feed your baby with breast milk it needs to come out it needs to circulate and the baby needs to have so it is beneficial for the baby and for you it avoids it prevents uh, breast cancer okay so uh, it's very important and uh, and of course the exercise and good life and the and and the most important uh, not to have stress in life i know that's challenging so instead of saying not to have stress uh, i would say be happy so that your mind focus on the word happy try uh, you know keep your small small basic things and you must get your me time women especially in india get your me time design your life like that have people who support your me time it's very important it's not an option it is must you need to have a me time for your body for your mind to understand and sync with the life okay it's very important very important no no unending cleaning of the house and uh, keep on making tea tea like i don't know how many times for so many people you don't have to entertain so many people at the cost of your body you know your body needs you every single day the people if they don't drink tea in your house it's fine they can drink tea outside let them talk about you it's okay but you must dedicate your me time you must have it very important okay yeah i feel very strongly so that's why my face reaction is like that okay then uh, comes our stomach um yeah first of all choose good food home food यू नो दाल चावल रोटी सब्जी पापड़ चटनी घर का अचार थोड़ा बहुत वो भी चलेगा ज्यादा नहीं सैलेड बरी यू नो होम मेड थिंग्स घी होम मेड खिचड़ी वॉट एवर यू लाइक रोटी सब्जी स्वीट्स मेड इन होम खीर सब है लड्डू ठेकुआ यू नो Uh, all those things whatever you prepare in home those are very important and healthy this pasta this the uh, it's okay sometimes it's okay because this generation has this practice but not every day this pizza burger no once in a while okay we are, our lifestyle has uh, accommodated such things but not every day and i'm sure you can't eat every day i feel like vomiting if somebody you know offers me every day burger i'll, I'll puke I I'm sorry if somebody is a big lover of burger but I feel like that. You you can even just pour, you know put it in a, a beaker those things and put water on it. You see how much time it will take to dissolve or samosa. That's what happens in stomach. The acid in the stomach, the heat in the stomach cannot dissolve it. It is it is of that nature. So how much your body will struggle to you know digest it, to convert it into what it needs to be converted and absorb the nutrients. It doesn't happen. so you are giving a tough time to your body when you choose such things over healthy things so yeah for the stomach regulate the routine and uh, eat healthy food how much food get a cook it's it's cheaper than eating outside every day or ordering from zomato jahan pe delivery charges khane ke charges se zyada hote hain so get a cook if you can't cook it's okay you are earning you earn get a cook a good cook based on your style north indian south indian west indian east indian or american continent to whatever you prefer but hell okay uh yeah that's what's for stomach your body will regulate and stomach that has our gut it will improve our gut and we will never fall sick you will never have any problem you will be healthy happy light okay you feel good always yeah then comes um yeah especially for periods yeah for the women uh uh if you have uh, lot of headache or you know around your periods i think i i don't know all the reasons i'm not a doctor but what i had suffered once i would let you know i have overcome it now i had my hp was not very good number iron was less 
my blood was blood count was not good so i used to uh, i'm not i'm not prescribing anything please don't uh, follow and don't take this medicine without prescription from your doctor but i took dexter range it's a tonic so one spoon two one spoon in the morning one spoon in the evening to increase my i think you know because uh, for periods the blood when the blood comes out of the body the body needs i think the blood so for that that iron content has to be there so i used to take dexter range uh, but i realized i don't i can't take this artificial thing from outside i need to have through my food through natural food so i started my intake in the morning i i i keep uh, badam especially uh, dates in the night for uh, soaked dates in the morning i eat that and that helped me get smooth periods i never i did not have any more headache and my blood flow was fine so you can have dates in the morning by soaking it in the night have that increase your iron you need to eat three times food otherwise iron will not be absorbed by, you know by through your uh, by your blood it needs to be absorbed for that you need to have three times main food you can't say that two times i eat food and then i nick on some snacks or something no three times food is compulsory with four hours gap or you know uh, so yeah so you need to have three times food you need to eat lots of green veggies and you need to have iron women please have lots of iron otherwise aapko chakkar aayenge mujhe aata tha like i used to feel ki i am going out with my baby and i will faint there i'll faint anywhere mai hoti bhi thi mai bahut jagah faint ho jati thi kabhi restaurant mein faint ho jati thi and i did not understand my body at that so i found out i did study i discussed with my you know my siblings and we discussed healthy things so i found out I need to eat three times. Like the regular practice, जो बच्चे में हमें मम्मी पापा करवाते थे ना कि तीन टाइम खाना खाना है आपको दाल चावल रोटी सब्जी दही दूध अंडा मतलब जो भी आप खाते हो वेज नॉन वेज और उसके अलावा स्प्राउट सोक फूड डेट्स खाना है आपको यू नो और ड्राई फ्रूट्स जो भी आपको पसंद है या जो भी यू कैन यू यू कैन गेट तो वो हो गया फॉर योर गुड पीरियड हेल्दी पीरियड और स्ट्रेस नहीं है वरना आपका पीरियड इरेगुलेट हो जाता है स्ट्रेस मैं मेरा पीरियड बहुत जल्दी आ जाता है जब मैं स्ट्रेस्ड होती हूँ किसी बात में तो मेरा पीरियड बहुत जल्दी आ जाता है और वो थोड़ा सा एडवेंचरस हो जाता है मतलब पेनफुल होगा एंड आई बी क्रैंकी एंग्री मुझे खुद समझ नहीं आ रहा मैं ऐसा बिहेव क्यों कर रही मैं एंग्री रहूंगी सबसे एंड या सो दैट हैपन्स द हारमोन स्टार्ट प्लेइंग समथिंग डिफरेंटली ओके दैट वॉज फॉर स्टमक देन कम्स अवर प्राइवेट पार्ट प्राइवेट पार्ट एज आई सेट अवर बॉडी लव कॉटन सो वेयर cotton fabric in a garments and even outside cotton is good for your skin also and um, uh, you can um, you can first morning you take bath then night time before sleeping you can take bath one more time change it and your body is good you you know you, and don't wear tight pants the skin leg tight jeans it does no good to your body that much tight dress is not good don't I I have stopped it once or twice. I wore. I realized that just for that style, you look like a duck, and just to look like that way, it does harm to your body. Your body it is so tight whole day. Whatever you are doing, it is not good. Your body, your skin needs to be needs to breathe. It needs to breathe. So uh, try to wear loose clothes and comfortable clothes, cotton fabric or. But sometimes party wear it's fine because party you will not be whole day, so it's okay to change the dress fabric. But mostly wear cotton fabric and um, something where your skin can breathe. Uh, yeah, comfortable clothes, night time, very comfortable clothes, very much comfortable clothes. Do change the whole day garment which you wore, change it into a fresh set of uh, inner garments and a fresh, uh, good, loose cloth before sleeping. Treat yourself like a princess, like a queen would do. Not like a labor. Ah, I'm too tired. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. You know, so try to do that. Uh, that was for private parts, and uh, yeah, and also during periods uh, for women, uh, you know, don't keep your pads. Uh, don't use the same pad for long, long duration. Change it often because it starts reverse osmosis. You know, how, if you have studied in the plants. first the the pad will get filled and then starts it's it starts reverse it starts going back inside the dirty blood so please and that can uh, lead to lot of bad diseases very bad diseases so change it often don't think of it ki main isme paise bacha lungi pad agar kam use karu to because it's very costly no 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 there you do should not save money that's not a point to save money okay that's that because it costs your health okay so then and then the legs um well 
of again trim your nails and the leg and uh, and you can take care of it naturally the same skin i mean you know the, and now leg so let's cover the skin thing entirely um for the skin you can use a uh, you know local moisturizer i use vaseline you can use any good moisturizer which is local in your country and uh, and try to use the same thing you know uh, i mean stick to same i think that's what well it can vary it depends on your skin I, i'm not a dermatologist i'm not a skin scientist but i'm just saying out of my experience and practices and i mean good for the people hearing things i want them to be healthy i want them to focus on other things in life not on their body because they regulate because if you do practicing all things you will regulate your body practices your body will always be healthy you will focus on life and other things because your body practices will be regulated you know by default what needs to be done for your face skin anything right uh yeah and don't also experiment a lot of cream or paste wash just because the packet was very nice on your face don't do that um internally or if your internal organs are good your face will it's like an index to your body it will show how you're doing it and a good routine please sleep early in the night get up early in the morning uh not like char baje pandit ki tarah but char baje is not bad i mean you choose your time you pick it and you follow it and you can go for cycling and physical things something you have to do you're not just a, i am not your child in standing in the park and talking to the ladies ha ha tumhari saath nahi kiya kya tum nahi kiya kya no 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 don't do that baby care raha you also go for cycling walking dance kar lo reel bana lo and uh, you know do something badminton you play badminton with the baby or if the baby is too small with someone else with your friends make such friends instead of just going sitting and chatting about life kya 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 sahi nahi chal raha life mein it will not do anything good yeah that was the about the entire body parts and uh, yeah and i also follow i also do 12 yoga asan after the six pranayams the 12 yoga asan which i do uh, ramdev baba asan you can see on youtube uh first i do mandukasan saskarsan salavasan uh, gaumukasan then these are the four sitting next four are um, uh, bhujangasan bhujangasan and then comes the uh, wait makarasan bhujangasan salavasan uh, dhanurasan and then the last four is on your lying on the your back they are uh, markatasan pavanmuktasan padritasan and savasan yeah these 12 are this you saw this 12 will set your body for the day and your back pain and all will also go but before uh, doing this you have some back problem i would recommend you to first get an advice on these asan from your doctor before doing it please because as i said i'm not a doctor i've been practicing before my marriage like from my teenage i've been practicing yoga so that's why i do it and i'm used to it and uh, for you who are trying first time please get one first get an advice from your doctor that if i can do i have this back uh, condition can i do it in this asan if they say okay or if they will say that uh, first do warm up or do this thing so you can do that uh if you do this you don't have to go to gym or any place uh that is it and uh, good sleep very important very very important and good people around you good books good thoughts uh, good series that's how you can you know design your life Uh, with the habits uh and the one more practice i do um see your husband your life partner your wife might not compliment you when you expect sometimes they don't they are busy or their mind is somewhere else they cannot love you the how they used to love you before marriage it's practical you know they might be having something in their mind it's okay so don't block the path of your friends your colleague who are complimenting you on that day you should learn how to take compliments take it if they are saying you are the most beautiful woman in this on this planet you must take it don't doubt it or don't question back really what do you want from me no if they said so you are the most beautiful uh, woman in, in this on this planet you are take no more questioning back just take it save it i have a folder somewhere where i save all the compliments i have received i keep on receiving so that when i i want uh, you know, i feel like i should get compliment and my husband is not noticing me for some reason he's busy or something 
I just go through the folder and I realize what amazing compliments I have received. So many had crush on me or so many thought my dressing sense is so good. My eyes are beautiful. Lips are beautiful. Whatever. The small, small things. This is not at all a uh, bad practice. It's a good practice. So it's like you are, I'm saving it in a jar, the compliments I have received all my life. And so when I'm forgetting that, uh, uh, that I'm lovable, that uh, my husband is not loving me because he's busy in the work or something. He forgot to compliment me when I was wearing some nice dress. I can just open the jar and taste all those compliments. I'm not telling you to have an affair with somebody or get into another relationship just because your husband or your wife is not complimenting you. I'm just saying to save those compliments uh, for you for those days when you are not receiving, but when you need it. We need, as like food nutrition, we also need intellectual nutrition for our brain, which does so much good for our body. So this is the one practice I practice. I would like you also to practice it. Save all the compliments, good thing, praises. My, fol my folder where all the data is there is called praises for Vinny. I save all the good words, nice words, kind words, people from different walk of life, from different countries and from, you know, different school, college, office or, or you know, on some social sites they're given. I will take a screenshot. I will save them. And there are days when I need to feel loved and complimented and feel special, I'll read them just to remind me that this is who I am. Okay, so that's one secret practice I follow and I would like you to follow. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Uh, I mean a lot of good to the people who are listening to me. Please share it to as many people as possible because I want, I want to reach as many people who don't know how to love their body. And trust me, these practices won't cost you anything. It's just your will and effort and, you know, will to do it. That's it. It's not at all costly. Okay, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for your time and patience for listening to the entire uh, talk of mine. Um, and if you have felt good, if you feel empowered, if you feel like uh, this has changed you for good, please do let me know so that I, I can make much better content and I feel encouraged and empowered. Though I, I have my own sunshine to follow things I want to do, but I would love to hear from you. You can let me know through your like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Rainbow Spotter. And I would request you to share as, to, as many people as possible. You know, to make this place a happy place, healthy place, and people who love their bodies, such beautiful body made by a master. Thank you so much. Much love. Take care. Bye-bye. See you in the next.